Child, I know that karma always finds her way, but I did not expect Amy Robox and TJ Holmes' karma to hit this fast. TJ is cheating on Amy already and is also jealous of Mary Lee Feibig and Andrew Shue's relationship? Not how I thought we would be starting 2024, but here we are. New year, new TJ. Or rather, same old TJ. Okay, y'all know that podcast that Amy and TJ said they would be launching? The one that a lot of y'all said that you would be caught dead listening to? Well, a few episodes have dropped already and the two have been spilling their own tea. As it seems there could be trouble in paradise already and people are looking at TJ sideways for allegedly cheating on Amy. All this is courtesy of one episode where they discussed how they each handle arguments or what they called hiccups when they arise about once a week. First of all, once a week? Is it normal for couples to be arguing literally every week? Now I already thought arguing every week is bad, but wait until you hear how TJ handles the situation. I am really, really bad about this. I don't scream. I don't yell. I don't do any. I don't name call. I don't get aggressive. Ain't nothing. But I will check out. And you're going to have to wait until I get it. I don't need you to say I'm sorry. I don't need you to help me. I have to work through it and I'm I'm trying to get better at doing it quicker but it yep he just checks out and I don't know about you but checking out every time you have an argument with someone is giving wanting to get the upper hand emotionally TJ also said that he particularly gets mad at how Amy reacts in the moment and according to him that makes all the difference in the world because in that moment they have a chance to go this way or that way but Amy apologizes after 24 hours apparently because the apology is delayed he just checks checks out. And when I say checks out, I don't mean for a few hours, by the way. Apparently, TJ usually checks out for two days at least. And Amy revealed that when she said, it's two days at least. I would rather have him yell at me than freeze me out for two days. I'm like, I don't know what to say, what to do, what he thinks. Quick math. If they argue once a week and TJ has to check out for two days, that would mean that for at least three days in a week, they are not on good terms. Which would leave us with the question, so what does TJ do during that period when he has checked out? Or where does he go? Could he be doing the same thing he did to his ex-wife? That is cheating on Amy already? As far as most people are concerned, that is indeed a red flag that TJ is either already cheating or is planning to. And they are not sorry because honey, we are still not over the embarrassment that TJ and Amy put their exes through. Man, it is good to have you. It's good. To, it's so weird that I, I see you all the time. It seems like anyway. So it's good to have you in the studio here, my man. I just want to say I'm so proud of you guys. This is an amazing show. The affair was confirmed when Daily Mail got their hands on a set of very scandalous pictures that clearly showed TJ and Amy in questionable positions. I mean, it was quite obvious that somebody had probably hired a private investigator because the HD photos of them spanning from around a month showed how they enjoyed a cozy cottage and checked out of their rental. TJ was even photographed grabbing Amy's behind as she packed up the car. Honestly, this whole thing would not have blown over if they had separated from their spouses peacefully and moved on on terms they all agreed on. It is how they blindsided their partners and snuck around that just made this entire situation embarrassing. Now, both Amy and TJ said in one of the first podcast episodes that they knew something else was evolving between them during the summer of 2022. Remember when the affair dropped drama first started, a source told People Magazine there were rumors they were having an affair about a year ago. A lot of people believed there might have been some truth to it because you can see there's a mutual affection there. But everyone ultimately chalked it up to their friendship because they'd always said they were both very happily married. Another source confirmed that the affair had likely been going on for months because suspicions had been at an all-time high when they flew to the UK for the Queen's funeral back in September 2022. According to the source, they were affectionate as they waited for their luggage, but they did not kiss. But despite flying business class with a group of GMA employees, they also didn't try to hide their affection and stayed close to each other the entire travel day. But here's the thing. The affair did not start in 2022. It started way earlier, possibly even in 2017. Reportedly, Robin Roberts even pulled them both aside about it. But apparently, TJ denied being involved with Amy. But something was going on and they continued to host their exes on the show and even went on double dates with them, knowing very well what was happening. Nasty. To make matters worse, in the month 
months after TJ and Amy's cheating scandal, the two were photographed all over each other while on multiple vacations and running around the city. They were openly making out in public with reports saying that TJ's ex, Mary Lee, had been watching all of that and she found it highly offensive. And recently, there were also reports that Amy and TJ were dirty dancing at a wedding. The embarrassment just kept getting worse, but it was only a matter of time before karma came a knocking. And the red flags in Amy and TJ's relationship are showing. So other than saying he checks out for two days after arguments, in the podcasts, TJ and Amy also talked about the possibility of getting married. And Amy said they both have two weddings under their belts. It's not something they should be rushing towards. But TJ once again gave a very obnoxious answer. Yeah, I want to marry you because you are 50 and I'm 46. And I'm you had to point very that out. sick <laughs> of introducing you a 50-year-old woman. This is my girlfriend. That just sounds stupid. Like, did he literally say that it sounds stupid to introduce a 50-year-old as his girlfriend? And that is why he wants to marry her ASAP? Well, not surprising, considering this is also the same man who made remarks implying that he was just the worst to Marilee in a post where he praised Marilee for staying with him despite his nasty actions, adding that he had given her plenty of reasons to walk out the door, but she stayed, which was all thanks to her built-in black woman superpower. Like, what does that even mean? Black women are supposed to stay with their cheating partner? It's giving very much toxic. And with TJ making weird comments again with Amy, followers are convinced that this is a breakup waiting to happen. Apparently, TJ is also super jealous of what is going on between Andrew and Mary Lee, because while his relationship with Amy appears to be chaotic already, Andrew and Mary Lee are flourishing in theirs. Remember at the time when Amy and and TJ were all over humiliating Marilee and Andrew, they started working on a project with a close source even saying, by seeing Marilee's name on an advisory board with Andrew Shu, a clear statement has been made. It would definitely raise an eyebrow to see that both of the people that Amy and TJ were married to are now working together. That extra kicker is that Andrew and Mary Lee are pursuing something that potentially could be successful. Perhaps they are saying, well, what is the best way to get back here? If you have controversy around you, why not lean into it and leverage it, which they have now. Success could also be the ultimate revenge, but at the end of the day, the best revenge is business success. In case you didn't know, this collaboration turned into something romantic as close sources reported that Andrew and Mary Lee bonded over their traumatic experience of their respective breakups. Whether TJ and Amy actually cheated on them or just abruptly started dating right after asking for a divorce, Andrew and Mary Lee have apparently leaned on each other for support throughout all of this. So much so that they are reportedly not heartbroken or sad anymore. Instead, based on multiple sources, their relationship turned into something else months ago, and they're now connected over their values. Once again, the Daily Mail managed to secure the first batch of the photos of Andrew and Mary Lee, which strongly resembled its extensive documentation of Amy and TJ's relationship. Like, there were even photos of the new couple packing up Andrew's Jeep with two cats for a weekend away. The relationship definitely made both Amy and TJ feel some sort of way because Amy was reportedly convinced that Andrew and Mary Lee deliberately arranged for the news to drop the same day that their podcast came out and was livid that her ex was trying to steal her thunder. After all the embarrassment she put her ex through, she was livid that he was trying to steal her thunder? Child. Baby, this whole situation still has people fuming. But what are your thoughts on TJ Holmes checking out for two days every week during arguments with Amy? Do you think this is a clear sign that the relationship will not work? And what are your thoughts on TJ and Amy supposedly being jealous of Mary Lee and Andrew's relationship? Let me know in the comments section below.